What's up everybody? How you doing? In this video we are going to discuss how to arm yourself against a stronger riser. So I'm going to show you why you can't execute a posting top roll and other top rolls that you can use and how to use one other technique from the inside game to beat a top roll. Then I'm going to show you one exercise that I consider very important for this and then we'll end the video. So what does a stronger riser mean? Means that when you come to the table the referees will not put you in a riser lock position they will drop the riser just a bit and when the match begins then you will post and take your riser you're putting the opponent riser down so from this you see which will make his cup vulnerable to back pressure or side pressure so Let's say you do 20 kilos and uh, your opponent does 30 kilos. There's no chance because the riser has no counters at all. You will can't counter it. And the first way to defeat him is not by after he takes your riser you stupidly go to the side because when you go to the side your cup will go. That's because of the back pressure he did generate and the side pressure you generate, which makes down force and his up doing up force results in a bent back wrist. So knowing that you will can take his riser, you want to come to the table with your riser down, you want to set up as you need lock formation use supination to rise and get a high red being you choose it's your choice so come with your riser down because that's the position you will get boom after he takes your riser so it doesn't make sense to start like this because you will not get to this position so just like this and when the match starts, knowing that he has the most amount of protection for his cup, you want to drag and cup. Not to use pronation, we don't want to use it because it can make us vulnerable. Vulnerable to back pressure. I know that some guys say cup and Pronation destroys someone's bicep and it isolates it, but they can generally just bring the shoulder forward and flop press you and you are done. We don't want that. So, drag and cup because in arm wrestling, back pressure contains side pressure and let drag or back pressure through the lats contains back pressure and everybody knows that the power that the biceps can generate is not enough to stop the lats so when you drag his angle opens up and he will not be able to post as efficiently only if He's much stronger than you or he's trying to play with you. So, you drag him back, his angle opens up. Then, you want to cup and take away his pronation. After that, we want to use a combination of back pressure and side pressure. That's because by using full side pressure, then again, we give us a vulnerability to the right 
So, just use back pressure and side pressure and try to post. I know that your wrist is down, but try to post like this. And go there to the pin pad. We want to drive there. If we need to, we can also apply reverse side pressure, hitting his fingers and boom. Second step, extremely important. I should have said this in the beginning. First thing you need to do when you come to the table, you need to sleep because the wrist or the chopping and the rising makes more sense to use or it's more important when in hand on hand so no strap no connection between us and then it's really bad for you even if you use the thing that I said you you can still get if it's faster and you're down pin so you wanna use reverse side pressure that's how I sleep you can also flop and let your fingers go but I found it that it's the most efficiently to sleep like this that's because you're creating the thread that opens up his fingers and if he holds on and you can't sleep then Use side pressure and pin him very fast and easy. So I showed you the low hand top roll and things like that. Then on the outside we've got the open top roll. So as I said, dragging contains back pressure. So even if you take your riser in the open top roll, riser is extremely important, not the most important thing, but so if when we, we can take it just like this, it's great. We want to drag back, decommit the shoulder and open up the angle so that we can contain his side pressure and because dragging contains back pressure, we've almost catch him. Next, we need to protect our pronation and cup. That's because if we get like this, it shouldn't hold. So, after you sleep, so just do like this, open up the angle. If you need, apply a little bit of side pressure and then go for the press then the third way is the king's move in the outside lane the king's move is one of the most dangerous moves that's because it involves dragging him to the back right side of the pad and then we roll the shoulder and go into a almost straight arm position and while rotating because some guys do it like this with their bicep facing upwards this is also even more dangerous we need to rotate the humerus so that the inside of the bicep is touching the how was its name the pad and we want to use kickback, riser if we can, and try to crack his wrist back by rotating your fingers because he can't contain you or cup when you're fully supinated because King's move involves not pronation from the wrist, it involves pronation from the shoulder via internal rotation. So we King's move and let him exhaust then we go you can finish with press side pressure or back pressure any other thing you want then we've got the inside lane now 
for the inside lane oh, everybody knows that hooking kills a posting top roller that's because a hooker is somebody who neither cups and drives cups and drags cups and presses or any other combination you wanna use or is a high hooker which means that you got everything up and you are the stronger armor too. Now how I really really like to do it is by starting in a low position again trying to drag and cut because he can have all the rights that he wants if he gets turned palm up there's no chance for him to pin him. So we drag back and cut fully to the max and then we wanna apply side pressure. Side pressure to kill him. Then we drag, we use the drag hook and we kill him. Then there's the who can drive, it's not the best thing to do. Dragging hook is killing his back pressure through containing it, and then we apply back pressure to the biceps to contain him. Also, you can supinate a bit and getting into a deep hook. Applying side pressure just like Alison Muratov does. Very insane way of stopping a top roller. Very insane. But you need to have a strong elbow. Then we've got a hook and drive. As I talked to you, back pressure contains side pressure, which means that if we hook and drive, yeah. Maybe we can, if we can get the cup, if we get a cup, then drive. But if we can't get the cup, and we stay at a neutral position, and it's pretty wrong because he will get us and just get a wrist and done. Then you got the who can press very efficiently and very fast. So you start in a low position and just drag and press by letting your body fall on your arm, on your forearm. It's very fast. Then you've got the special press, flop press. It's one of the best way of killing a top roller. So you start with as much rise as you can, form or perpendicular to the ground or to the how you want to call it, and then we press with a wrist bent back, which will get him in a over pronated position, and then it's gone. Very easy way to win. Now. If you liked what I show you, consider subscribing, great gift for me, helped me a lot, nothing too much for you, if you don't want to lose any more secrets and training, discussions, reviews of events, please don't forget about subscribing and giving me a like, that's all I ask for. So, now that I've said to you this, I've got a special trick for you, and that's to set up in the back side of the pad, or even the middle, and then we go around his pronator. Do we drag forward? This is a very special way to take full cup very special way because it 
doesn't mean that we don't use that much cup we use a lot of cup but still it removes a lot of need of using drag forward and then drag back and apply side push now that's one of the things that you needed then one exercise that I've got for you to improve fighting against a stronger riser is to grab a belt attach it to a pulley system with weights now I don't have any weights but still you understand but it like this just like the strap will come feel this please good and we get it over the knuckle and then we wrap it by using the right just like this I tricked you you might think that I want to show you dragging or things like that but to fight against a stronger riser you need a stronger riser we need to improve that because in armor swing technique is very important but also arm strength and power is very important so now that you've mastered all of these things about how to top roll or fight against a stronger riser I've got one more trick for you and that's about how to avoid getting hooked as a posting top roller and what to do about it and how to get the wrist bent back so make sure to check the video links is in the screen tags or cards or how you want to name it in that video we basically introduce you to why the post doesn't work against the hooker and why the top low hand top row is the best idea please consider watching it because if you don't watch it then you might get hooked and pinned very easily so see you all in the next video bye and don't forget to like